Hello, I am going to present our work, De Novo Drug Design Using Self-Attention Mechanism. In the field of biotechnology, drug discovery is the process of discovering new medications. One of the major challenges involved in drug designing is the size of search space for novel molecules. It is estimated that the search space consists of 10 raised to 60 synthesizable molecules. The amount of resources in time and money involved in the discovery of a new drug, passing of all the clinical trials and launching it in the market is tremendous. One out of every 10,000 drug candidates are approved and only 3 out of 20 approved drugs bring in significant revenue to cover the developmental costs. Virtual screening is a method that is used to explore the search space wherein virtual bonds are created between various combinations of building block molecules. Properties of the molecules generated in the previous step are calculated and filtering is performed based on these properties to select molecules to synthesize in labs. However, Virtual screening is not the best approach to find molecules having desirable properties because it relies on luck and does not search for relevant properties. For drug designing, methods used for molecule representation and the process of molecule generation play an important role. Polykovsky and others proposed an entangled condition adversarial autoencoder. This new generative architecture proposed to generate molecule structures based on various properties such as activity against a specific protein, solubility, ease of synthesis, etc. Segler and others used an LSTM network for language modeling on the SMILES representation. This work exploited the grammatical aspect present in the SMILES notation through their language modeling architecture. The model was trained on 1.4 million molecules present in the Campbell dataset. Gomez and others proposed a variational autoencoder model with three coupled functions to convert discrete representations to and from multidimensional representations. The encoder is used to obtain a real valued continuous vector from a discrete representation of a molecule. The decoder converts the continuous vector back into the discrete representation. Predictor's task is to estimate the chemical properties from the continuous representation of the molecule. We have including corresponding results in our results section for the comparison with our proposed work. Our work proposes to use self-attention mechanism to generate novel molecules through language modeling. Language modeling enables the generated molecules to have properties similar to the molecules present in the training set. Self-attention enables the model to identify the relevant context between the various elements generated in the molecular sequence. This takes care of the dependencies involved in molecular structures. In this generative approach, the molecules are represented using formal molecule notation known as SMILES and the transformer Excel architecture is used for training and sampling of novel molecules. Simplified Molecular Input Line Entry System, that is SMILES, is a formal grammar which is used to represent a molecule in the form of a sequence of ASCII characters. For instance, characters like small c and capital C are used for representing aromatic and aliphatic carbon atoms. Similarly, a hyphen, an equal sign, and a hash symbol is used for representing a single, double, and triple bond respectively. Brackets and numbers are used to represent side chains and rings respectively. The generative model applied on the SMILES grammar has to learn various rules present in it, for example, closing opening brackets. Language modeling is used to predict the probability of a token given the tokens that occur before it in a sequence. In this approach, the language model predicts the remaining molecular substructure based upon the substructure provided to it. The formula for finding the probability P 
of obtaining a sequence S from a given language model is mentioned, wherein theta is the parameter learned by the language model. The transformer Excel network for language modeling consists of multiple layers of decoders, wherein each decoder has two sub-layers and residual connections are implemented around each layer. Output of one decoder acts as an input for the decoder above it. Moreover, relative positional encodings are added to the input token embeddings to induce a sense of temporal bias amongst the tokens. Self-attention enables each token to find its dependencies concerning other tokens in a sequence irrespective of the distance between them. During initial calculation, three vectors, which are a query vector, key vector, and a value vector, are created from each input token embedding by multiplying it by three matrices, which are trained during the training process. Further, an attention function maps a query and a set of key-value pairs to an output, where the output is also a vector. It is computed as a weighted sum of the value, where the weight assigned to each value is computed by a compatibility function of the query with the corresponding key. Here, the parameter d subscript k represents the dimensionality of the key vector. In language modeling, the probability distribution of the token i depends on the i-1 tokens before it. Hence, it is essential to perform masking to avoid any flow of information leftwards. The multi-head attention layer performs attention calculation multiple times, which helps in discovering different dependencies in the molecular space. This sublayer consists of a fully connected feedforward network and is applied to every output vector from the previous sublayer separately and identically. The weights are identical for every position in a layer, but each layer has different weights. Here, a linear transformation is performed twice with recurrent linear unit activation applied after the first transformation. Language model training in previous works is performed on separated fixed length segments of a few hundred tokens without any information flow across segments. As a result, the model cannot capture any long-term dependencies beyond the predefined context length. This is known as context fragmentation. Transformer Excel enables learning of long-term dependencies and resolves the problem of context fragmentation through segment-level recurrence mechanism. Here, the corpus is divided into fixed-length segments wherein each segment obtains a hidden state sequence from its previous segment. This hidden state sequence is cached, which provides an extended context to the current segment. To utilize the above-mentioned feature, Transformer Excel uses relative positional encoding, which takes into consideration the involvement of multiple segments for language modeling and enables the reuse of hidden states of segments. This work does not use external memory, that is, it does not use hidden states of previous segments because a segment can easily contain the length of an entire molecule present in our dataset as the lengths of molecules present are not greater than 100. As a result, breaking molecules into two continuous segments is not required and hence Transformer Excel is used for modeling shorter sequences in this approach. However, Zihang Dai, in his work, has demonstrated that Transformer Excel outperforms Vanilla Transformer even for modeling shorter sequences. We have used the metrics like validity, uniqueness, novelty, KL divergence, and FCD for evaluating our generative approach. The validity of a molecule is assessed by passing with the RDKit library. It checks whether the string generated follows the specific grammar or not. To determine the uniqueness of the molecule, it needs to be valid and the model should not generate molecules generated previously. A generated molecule is novel when it is both valid and unique and is not present in the training set. KL divergence calculates the log of the difference 
between the probability of the data in the original distribution with respect to the approximating distribution. It basically calculates how much information is lost when one distribution is approximated with another. FCD is used to detect a the diversity of generated molecules, b similarity of biological properties and c the similarity of chemical properties between the generated molecules and training molecules. A low FCD value indicates that the molecule distributions are similar to each other. The Transformer XL model was trained on 1.27 million molecules obtained from the Campbell database with a vocabulary size of 38. The neural network consisted of 9 decoder layers with a dropout of 0.3 implemented in each of the sublayers present in them. The results improved significantly after adding dropout to the network, which consisted of 30 million parameters. We used Adam Optimizer and trained the model for 5 epochs. After training, we sampled 20,000 molecules from the generator. Out of the 20,000 molecules sampled, 98.3% of molecules are valid, which indicates that the generator has successfully learned the SMILES grammar. Moreover, the model generated 97.9% .9 unique molecules and produced 93.8% novel molecules. The FCD and KL divergence values indicate that the generator is now capable of producing valid molecules intuitively, which it has never seen before and at the same time is able to produce a distribution similar to the training set. After training the generator and sampling molecules from it, the results demonstrate that the model successfully learned the grammar and generated a significant amount of valid molecules which it had never seen before. To generate more focused molecules, that is, molecules that attach correctly to a target receptor, fine-tuning can be performed by training the model further on molecules active for that particular target. The vocabulary in our work has been restricted to only 38 tokens, while there are over 50 tokens in the Campbell database. Using all tokens may produce more diverse molecules. Molecules of lengths greater than 1000 can also be generated by using the external memory of the transformer Excel.